Hey, what's up coaches? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to drum up 500 contacts in under 30 days. This video requires a pen, a notepad, and ultimately I want you to track everything inside of like a Google Doc or a Google Spreadsheet. And this can be done at a local level without running ads, without posting flyers, without doing some of the common things that a lot of coaches try to do that are unsuccessful. So let's dig straight into it. And we're gonna start with number one. All right, we have three different ways. And number one, this is the team manager leads. Now, let me explain what this is. Let's say you are a soccer trainer right? You're a soccer trainer. You work with, with kids that are 10 to 14 years old. A great way to get in front of a lot of leads, 500 or more leads in one month, is you simply go out to the fields on either a Tuesday or a Thursday during the season or a Monday or Wednesday, whenever kids have practice. And what you do is you network with the team manager. Now, the team manager is either a dad or a mom, and they have control over the whole email list of that team. That person is responsible for all the communication with the parents during the season for games, tournaments, practices, reschedules, all that stuff. So that team manager has a lot of influence over the other parents on that team. All right. So let's say you're in soccer. A team manager is going to have access to anywhere between like 12 and 18 other parents because they have the emails, all right? They have the emails and the phone numbers. So knowing one person from that team, all right, which is the team manager, that gives you access to so many people. Now, a good exercise, all right? So this is not just an idea, this is an exercise. Go out to the fields this week or next week and figure out who these people are, right? Go ask parents, hey, who's the team manager? I wanna introduce myself. Literally, like start a conversation that way Go talk to the team manager and then tell the team manager, hey, I would love to put together a free clinic for your team this month. All right. And in order to sign up for the free clinic, I'm going to send you a link to my website. All the parents need to go there, enter their name, phone number, and email. And now what you're doing is you're collecting all of the leads that they have. All right. And they're going to email all the people for you. Everyone's going to go to your registration page, sign up. Then you can have a phone call with everybody individually before they come. This way you can introduce yourself. They know who you are. They know what you sound like. And they show up for a free clinic. And now you have an entire team in front of you, right? Let's say you duplicate that 10 times in one month, right? 10 times in one month, you're in front of 180 kids like that, right? And this strategy here some of the coaches that we work with that are like top, top coaches in the United States, they do this all the time. This is like a normal habit for them. And they go out to the fields, they talk to the team managers, they give them something of value. And then from there, they're getting the names, phone numbers, and emails of all of the parents. If you do that and you go hard with just that one idea over the next 30 days, right? You're going to crush it. You're going to get so many new leads that do not know you yet. And the reason why they're going to want to work with you is because you're going in with value. You're not just saying, hey, do you guys want to train with me? Like you're going in with some value, all right? So that's number one. So simultaneously, this should be happening too, all right? This is cold DM leads. Now, this can be done on Instagram. This can be done on Facebook. I don't care what platform you use. It only works if you're consistent, all right? And I'm going to show you some numbers here so you can like really start to think about this, okay? If you spend about one to two hours of time researching your area, looking at the different fields or the courts or the schools that are in your area, you can plug away a huge spreadsheet of parents in your area that have kids that play the sport that you train, right? So what we're gonna do first is we're going to put everybody in a spreadsheet, then, you're going to DM people daily, all right? So let's say you create a spreadsheet of 500 people, all right? Not that hard. Every single day, all right, if you take 500 divided by 30, all right, that's how many DMs you should be sending per day. That is not that difficult, not that difficult to do. 
So instead of using your phone to scroll on Instagram, you're using your phone to DM people, whether that's on Instagram or Facebook. So first, you just need to create a list. Then you have a like a sequence, a message that you know people are going to respond to. If you need help with that, reach out to me. I'd love to help you, right? Then you have a way of getting them over to a phone call with you. So you're messaging 500 people over the course of 30 days. That is not that difficult. If you put your mind to it, you can do that. Now, if you're doing just this strategy here and this strategy here, both can get you in front of so many people in 30 days. Now, the last idea that I have for you here, it's called affiliate partnerships. Now, what is this? How does it work? Good question. All right, here's what it is. So affiliate partnerships, let's say you're a basketball trainer, right? So you train kids on you know, skill development, uh, shooting, dribbling, ball handling, vertical jump, whatever it is you specialize in. What you do is you start to pick apart people in your community that also help kids in basketball, but they're not in your niche. So for example, if you're a skills trainer, you might want to network with a personal trainer, someone who helps kids get faster, get stronger. That person, that personal trainer is going to have access to a lot of kids that play basketball. Another person could be a high school coach, uh, someone that leads an organization. So what you can do is you can create affiliate partnerships with these people where if they're driving traffic to you, they're driving you customers, then you can give them a percentage of every sale that they give you. Think about it. These people that already have influence over the kids that you want to train, if you have something that is that does not, you know, it's not a conflict with with what they're offering, and they're and you're giving them money to send send you new people into your program, like it's a win win for them, it's a win win for you, um, and you're only going to pay them when someone becomes a client. So you already have the money, right? If you create multiple affiliate partnerships in your area with personal trainers. Uh, you know, speed and agility guys, strength and conditioning guys. Um, I You could even look at uh, other trainers in your area that offer the same thing that you do, but maybe they just, they don't want to train the clients that you want to train. Doing the same thing. That is another way, all right? As long as you can track all of that, that is another way you can get in front of so many people. So these three things here, team manager leads, cold DM leads, affiliate partnerships, if you combine those three things, you should be able to get in front of 500 people in one month. Now, let's imagine you repeat that process every month, right? If you take 500, 500 people times 12 months, that is, what, 6,000 people that you get in front of in one year. Pretty amazing. If you convert a very small percent of those people into becoming clients, you're going to have a six-figure business. That's it for today's video. Hope this video helps. If you want more ideas like this, subscribe to the channel. If you want to grow your business and you want real hands-on help, text me at this number here. I'd love to get on a call with you, show you how we can help you grow your business. That's it. Catch you later.